Hi, Digital Arts. This is part one of Selection Tools. We're going to be working with the wand tool. In the toolbar, you're going to click on Magic Wand. The Magic Wand is a great tool to create a selection based on color. So for example, you can see that the background is one solid color. The giraffe, however, is multicolored. If I were to click on the giraffe now, you'll see that it grabs all of these lighter tan colors and maybe a few that are close to it. That's probably not a good idea if I wanted to get the giraffe isolated from the background. That would be a lot of work. Instead, since my background is one solid color, I could just click on the background and you'll notice that it does a great job of selecting all the way around the giraffe. In the menu bar, or in the options toolbar, you'll notice that there are a lot of different options. Replacing it just means that I create a new selection. I can combine selections, I can subtract from my selection, or I can intersect my selections. That's great if I wanted to, um, in addition to uh, selecting the background, maybe I wanted to also select his nostril. Or maybe I don't want that anymore, so I'll click Subtract from Selection, and now I only have the background. Feathering is a great way to describe how crisp the edging is. So when I, as I'm cutting this background from the giraffe, think about the difference between using a pair of scissors to cut around a picture versus tearing it. If I tore the paper, the paper edging would be very soft. If I use scissors, the edging will be very crisp and clean. Tolerance uh, basically talks about how picky the tool is to color. If I lower my tolerance and I try to reselect, you'll notice that it only grabs, it grabs most of it, but there's some that it left out. So if you really wanted to, you could go to unite in the options bar and click more and it would do the same thing or you could simply raise the tolerance now let's say i want to remove this background on your keyboard click backspace and now you have no background once you have gotten it to this point then it's just a matter of saving and then attaching it to google classroom on Google Classroom, you'll find a practice on uh, using the wand tool as well. If you have any questions on how to use the magic wand, please let me know.